All right, guys, we're going to do a tutorial in uh, an app for DJI drones called Drone Harmony. I'll call that up in a moment. And a little bit of explanation behind Drone Harmony and why you'd want to use it is um, they have several levels. The first level is would be a free version. You don't get all the uh, flight plans, of course. Uh, bare minimum, but you can uh, use it to fly w uh, missions, waypoint to waypoint missions, and probably that's all you would really need it for. And th the idea there is you can build your mission at home before you go out into the field, unlike uh, the Go4 app. You can uh, s use Google Maps, which it has, you can see right here. Um, you can build your flight mission. Uh, completely. You can tell your drone at what altitude you want it to fly, what direction you want it to fly, where you want the gimbal pointed, uh, the speed of your um, drone, all kinds of things you can set up before you actually head out to the field and uh, do your flight. So the costs are free for the uh, lowest version that you can, uh, uh, that you can get, and that's just good enough for uh, uh, personal use. And that will include 99.9% uh, .9 of all uh, DJI drones. Uh, it works only with the DJ, DJI drones. So if you have one of those, it's perfect for that. Now, if you're using your drone for, uh, uh, for uses to make money with, well, then they have a starter kit. And that starter kit comes at a price of $49 a month, build monthly, or if you buy it by the year, it comes out to $33 per month, but build by the 12 month period. Then there's a professional uh, model, which is $149 a month, build monthly, or $99 a month if you pay by per year. And finally, they have an enterprise um, edition. Uh, you're going to have to call them and ask them, tell them what you want to use it for, and then uh, they'll get get a value of price for that. Each of these have a 14-day trial period, which you can try out to see if you like. The, th the free version is uh, totally free from the very beginning. Uh, you don't need to do, uh, there is no trial period or anything like that. You just go and fly. And like I said, on the free version, you can do uh, you can do basic mapping. You can do uh, safe and flexible automated flights. There's a professional look to your cinematic shots. You have uh, obviously there's a web app also. There's a mobile app and a web app. The mobile app is uh, you can use that independently. It's just simply what it says. It's a mobile app. Or you can do a cloud storage and a web-based app. And it has full camera control. So you've got everything you need. Um, you can tell it all about your buildings and everything that you're going to fly around and, and uh, things like that. So, uh, okay, before we also get started, there's... Um, the drones that are available, it'll do all the DJI Phantom series, the, right down to the, the, the three, Phantom 3 Pro, all the way up to the uh, Phantom 4 Professional Plus. Then you can get into the Mavic series, anywhere from the Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, the uh, Mavic Air, the Air 2, the Air 2S, the Mavic Pro, the 2 Pro, the 2 Zoom, the 2 Enterprise, the 2 Enterprise Dual, and the Enterprise Advanced. It'll also do the Inspire series, uh, the Matrice series, and the Spark series. So it has all of those. Uh, they're all DJI uh, drones, though, of course. But so, like I said, if you have a DJI drone, all the power to you. It's much better. And um, the flight plans are uh, mapping plans. You get, uh, for the free version, you get two mapping plans, like is a uh, top-down view or a multi-grid view. Um, out of the four, you get the two. 
the terrain, you don't get any uh, with the free version with the terrain parameters. You don't get any uh, uh, parameter um, flight plans that are built in. You can make your own inspection uh, there. You don't get any of those either, but you can do your own and you can build your own inspections. Um, linear, simple linear scans. There are none. Uh, cell tower uh, plans. You don't get any with the free version. Although, like I said, you can build your own uh, cell tower as opposed to having it done for you. Then there's the manual flight plans. Uh, you get the one flight plan, the manual waypoints. That's the one you're going to use for probably 90% of the time anyways. And then you have uh, shapes, different shapes, uh, orbit. Uh, th these ones are free. There's the orbit, the helix, the panoramic orbit, uh, the parabolic reveal, the parabolic reverse reveal, horizontal parabolic reveal, flat land um, photos, rocket quick shot and the zoom out quick shots. Those are the ones that you get that are totally free. So there's, there's a lot that you can really do with this um, app. So what you do at home before you get out into the field is you must have a Wi-Fi so that you can call up the Google Maps. It comes just on automatically. And what it'll do is I would zoom out as far as you possibly can. Uh, let the maps come in. It takes a little time. As you can see, the map's slowly loading. And what that does is put that map into cache so that when you do go out into the field, you actually have the map view. If you don't do that, then you probably will have just a blank screen and no map, really. If we go under General, here is where we'll, we can get Settings and uh, Units of... Uh, um, uh, map preferences. I can pick what kind of map I want. We're going to just use the hybrid map. Unit preferences. You can have metric or feet. Feet or, or meters. I've got mine to set to meters. Uh, the drone preference. What kind of drone do I have? I have the DJI Mavic Pro. So we click on that. Uh, what else do I want to put on here? Obstacle avoidance. The distance, how far you want the obstacle avoidance to be is one, two, three, four meters. Obstacle avoidance, I'll do set for three meters. Graphic preference, uh, default area structure color. Cyan is the color that it's going to be for the structures. As uh, That's a default that I'm going to use. We will use, uh, I'll go for red. Uh, custom camera. The custom camera I'll set at a 90 degree angle just straight out. So we'll just leave it at that. And uh, once you've got this all set up you're ready to go. So next time on the next video we'll actually go and make a flight plan for a place called Ross Creek here. And uh, well, I'll show you how to set everything up, how to do your waypoints, and we will actually go out and then do our flight along that particular area. So stay tuned, guys, for the next video coming up in the series of Drone Harmony uh, app for the DJI drones.